everyone. It's Ms. Serrano. We're just going to go into a quick introduction to Desmos and how to import those graphs that you make into a Word document. Okay, so the first thing I do is when I go to Desmos, I just literally type in Desmos. Okay, and you can go right there to the link. This is the icon for Desmos. So if you decide to download Desmos on your phone, a lot of students like to do that. That's totally fine. But let me show you how to do things on your laptop. Okay, so here I'm just going to click on graphing calculator. And it'll take me right there. Um, let's say I want to just do, let's just do a simple line. Okay, so uh, here you see like in gray, it already has those points mapped out. And if you hover over them, it will give you those points. But let's say, for instance, you wanted to know more than just those two points, those two intercepts. So it does give you a table, but it's limited, but you can find it. Go to up here where it has the gear symbol, click on it, and then just click on convert to table. And look at that. It gives you an abbreviated table, but still it's a table. And if you were to click, on each of these points, you will see those points in action. Now, let's say that you wanted to put more than one function on the same coordinate plane. So what we can do is this. We're going to hit the plus symbol for add item and then hit expression. And let's say I'm just going to do a simple quadratic. So y equals to x. To get the squared, you can hit the caret key and then get x squared. Or another way you can do it, you see down here where it says show keypad? If for whatever reason, if you didn't have your keyboard and you just needed to know all the functions, you just needed to touch stuff on your screen, you can totally use this option as well. Um, let's say I'm going to minimize that. Let's say I want to make this uh, go a little bit lower. So I'll say x squared minus 5. Okay. And if you want to know where they intersected, I'm just like gently pressing down on it and I can find where those points intersect. And something else, if you want to like pick it up, you want to move it, you want to zoom in, you want to zoom out, whatever you need to do, you can use these buttons along the side. The wrench up here, that'll be if you want to send your graph in a certain direction. Okay, so I'm going to say that I like how that looks on my screen. So I just click off the, the menu. And if I wanted to get a screenshot of what this looks like and put it into Word, what I do is this. Look for your print screen button. It should be somewhere above the back space button, somewhere along the top row of your keyboard. Click on print screen. It'll look like pert skr. <laughs> Click on that. Now, it, what that button does, it does not automatically send it right to your printer. Instead of print screen, I wish they called it copy screen, because that's what it does. It copies your entire screen. And then, if we go into Word, there you go. Okay. <laughs> and you want to paste that in. You could do write, copy, paste. I like to do control V and then it pastes it right in there. So, but you see here how it has like the top stuff, it has this stuff on the side, it has all my icons on the bottom. I don't wanna see all that, I just wanna see this part. So let me show you how to crop it. Okay, to crop this and make this look pretty in Word, I usually just double click and you hit the crop button over here and then you want to grab either the corners or the side wherever they have these markings and you just drag and uh, click and drag 
for whatever part you wanted to show for your uh, for your graph. And then here I want to do some text around it. So I'll do wrap text and I'll say square. But also I can put some cool uh, frames around it. I could do that. And let's say you wanted to put in some some text around it to make your um, you know make your answer known. I don't like that. We have some, let me do that one. The solutions to, and I'll say y equals x minus three, and y equals to x squared minus five, and make them lowercase. You know what, I don't like that it's a double space there and a double space there. Um, some people don't realize that when you hit enter, sometimes it's like a regular enter and sometimes it's like a double enter. So the trick to that, I'm just going to delete that. If you hit shift enter, then it'll go one space down instead of two. So that's just a little trick. Okay, R... This is at 2, negative 1, and negative 1, comma, negative 4. Okay. Um, that's enough to get you started. So if you wanted to use Desmos and do copy-paste into your packet, if you're using it online, that's one way you can do it. If you want to use Desmos and then transfer the points on your paper and copy them by hand, that's also something you could do. So that's it. That's all I really wanted to show you. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye-bye.